guys, how are y'all doing today? Today we are here with another episode of Minecraft Dungeons, and by another I mean our first one, technically. Anyways, let's hop right in. This is a new game made by Mojang and the Xbox Studio, I guess. Um, Xbox Studios, I believe, is what they're called. Anyways, we're here with another video, and we're gonna start with a tutorial which is traveling to Squid Coast. Now this game is amazing. Me and my brother have actually played through the entire game, and it is sweet. So, we start with a little sword. We have to actually click, um... I had a gamepad thing that let me do WASD, but I'm not going to bother using it. Um, this works fine. The bosses can be a bit challenging, but other than that, everything should be fine, and we'll be good to go. Let's destroy that. Actually, let's... For some reason, I don't know, I can have two people and it doesn't do this, but for some reason it's decides to do this. It becomes a little bit framey, I guess. Hope you guys see it okay. So we're gonna keep going. Now there are side trails where you can find chests, but I don't do that, I usually just... So, you could do that. You can right click to shoot the arrows. Um, I use E, so when I use a gamepad. I actually have a keyboard split on my computer, so I can do uh, split play with my friends. But other than that, it's not necessary. Um, I will say this game is amazing if you decide to do ranged, so, but I just haven't. If you guys enjoy this content, please let me know in the description. And yeah, so this is Squid Coast, we have chests, we have the starters, and our arrows. Now arrows do get saved when you finish a level, like you'll see I have 117. So when I finish this level, you guys will see what I need range very fast. So this is one of our special abilities, an artifact, you can have up to three artifacts, and obviously these can also be upgraded. So I'm actually going to upgrade the bow, because I don't know if we can get a new one, we supercharge, and we also have rapid fire. So rapid fire increases attack speed, so I should deal more damage, and I have push knockbacks. This will do a lot more damage, and you also get one point per level you upgrade. So, and you upgrade pretty fast, and yeah, artifacts are 1, 2, and 3, and E, M, M, and V is roll. So, and then there's this lever. There are beacons in that you sometimes have to activate. Now, if I press 1, it activates this one, which is a firework. And I have the effect to do more damage, so arrows can grow, they can shrink, they can really do whatever. So, if I actually go here, I can open up this chest, and V is to roll. So if I hold my mouse, I can actually keep running. So yeah. I guess you can count this as a basic guide too, as you guys watch me play through. This is camp, this is what we spawn at, I believe. You were too late to rescue the villagers. I believe but this is fret. camp. You'll They're see. They're still uh, out there somewhere waiting for a hero there should to be turning find around them. there. Because yeah, it'll take me to camp. So when it takes me to camp, it'll have the same layout. And obviously, there's a chest. You get at the end of each level you complete, you do get a chest. So I got a fishing rod. See, so yeah, I see camp is kind of similar. Here spawns some other guy in the. Future. Oh, is this a mission select? The first mission is Creeper Woods, and there's a whole bunch of items you can get that I haven't actually discovered yet, but well, I have, but not on this character. Nice thing is you can have multiple characters and multiple saves. So, first one we're gonna do is Creeper Woods. By the Arch Illager's decree. If you guys wanna see that, you can just at the game. It's out now, so which is really amazing. But I love the bow. And yeah, these arrows, I don't know if I had 77 off to look the footage, but I believe arrows do save. Just, I don't know. I haven't experimented with fully, I just thought they did. So yeah, Xbox and computer has a semi-auto aim, uh, aim, I guess. Yeah, those guys usually take two hits. So, and there's potions, which is really sweet. 
so good to know, good to have. Nothing I like to do is mention that these do have an area damage, so they're really sweet if you want to attack a mob. Ah, I put it there. So the Shadow Beam Potions, I'm not sh yeah, exactly sure what they do, I just know they exist. So now there's going to be skeletons up here, good to use long range on. We will take care of the uh, skeletons. There's the first guy. So the arrows, guys, I suggest saving as many as you can and getting as much as you can. Now E is to heal, so you are going to get that. But there is a cooldown, so be careful of when you want to use it. Bye bye, skeletons. Skeletons will run. So fun fact, skeletons will run, you want to be careful of that. I believe we get to see our first creeper over here somewhere. And the caravan. No, this, yeah, I see our first creepers over here. These guys take one hit in regular mode with the current sword. They do start to get harder though as you progress. They become harder to kill, which by game logic is reasonable. So swiftness potions make you faster, skeletons. And skeletons, as you'd imagine, are actually pretty fragile. For now. I really want to just... yeah. So they obviously have different armors, so... Sleep, do you? Ah, those guys do a ton of damage. And I believe you only have four lives in this game until you will have to um, live, I guess. Oh, that was a mistake. So these guys shoot webs and will trap you. So you want to be careful not to get trapped by the spiders. If so, usually they try and attack you themselves, so it's not too bad. Now you want to get the pigs? Pigs have good loot. So you, yep. so you can always pick up good loot like TNT. Now if I press I, I got some wolf farmer, I can press E, or I mean right click to pick equip, and same with the this, but usually I like to scrap it because it's not that useful to me. Come on. Now, what I do like to do is press E and do that. Because it kills everything in the radius. Well, within reason, it doesn't do bosses or higher level things, it sometimes takes a multiple hit, but they have deep different damage values. Which is pretty sweet. Oh, there's a chest over here. So these give arrows, potions, stuff. It's really sweet, actually. So I suggest looking around for things. Sometimes you get nice chests. This one's a basic for some reason. And to open the map, it is the right arrow? Or tab? Tab is the map. If you're ever feeling lost, press tab and it shows you the way you go. It can be helpful when you have to find runics when you beat the entire game, including the boss you get hard mode, or adventure mode as they call it. As well as, once that is done, you can find runics and unlock secret levels, I believe is what it is. And a tip, those enchanters, get rid of them as fast as you can. They are not fun to deal with later on, so get rid of them as fast as you can. So we have
Yeah, see, these guys enchant things, and then they become, I believe, twice as powerful and twice as hard to kill. So if you see them, get rid of them. Five chests. Arrows and bread. Bread actually heals you passively for a few seconds, which is usually 30 seconds, I believe. I went the wrong way. So yeah, there are multiple ways you guys can go, but these little yellow notifiers will show you the right way if you went the wrong way. So if you did go the wrong way, no need to fret, it'll always show you the way. Each level can probably take 10 minutes to half an hour depending on how fast you guys want to speed ride and how much loot you want to look for. I'm not looking for loot, I'm just trying to show you guys this. But Now what I should do is I'll keep an enchanter live next to my C1 and I'll show you guys what the enchanter can do if this isn't the boss. So I could finish this level if I want. The door is up here. This is the end of the level actually, which sucks. Um, but we beat the level, it's all fine. Now we actually, I gotta wait till the uh, end of this thing. Yes, yes, thanks to me, I did a wonderful job. Now this game is $25 I do believe, so if you guys want to play, I mean, yeah. Feel free. Now in here is where the chests we get collect. Death Cat Mushroom, I actually haven't had that yet. So, one thing I like to mention, over here you do a little dummy to test your damage on. So I do 12, 19 and that. Now if you press I, I actually leveled up again. So I can now upgrade, let's say, my sword. Which, I could do... What's might increase damage against you, I'm dead. Or some of your attacks, follow up with finding the next session. This, we'll let it watch this. So, after 5 seconds, it'll do it again. Which can help with stuff that have lower stats. I see now we have a blacksmith and a loot chest. So the blacksmith, if you hold to confirm, you get new items. So if I go here, let's sell the death cap. Mushroom. Yeah, we're gonna salvage it. I don't like it, so... Now this bow is actually better. And it has multi-shot or rapid fire. So, what we're actually going to do is salvage this bow. And when you salvage it, you get all your points back. So now I have one point again. So I can drag that over. And I'm actually going to get rapid shot. No, multi-shot. Because this thing is amazing. And it still uses one arrow, I believe. Now, let's go to the Soggy Swamp. So all these have opened up. But we're going to go to the Soggy Swamp because... We're not going to go to the Soggy Swamp. That thing is horrible. We're going to go to the Cacti Canyon. How's that sound, guys? This place is before you go to the Desert Temple. It's pretty sweet. So there's an order for them, but I don't know the exact order. If you want to know, I'm sure you can search it up. The Arch Illager but yes. Yeah. To... We're going to go here. Show you the beacons.
guys, and we are back. I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Um, so yeah, I did fail the level, but you do keep arrows, I think. As well as you do keep the loot. Which is really nice. So this actually has 32 range damage. That one has not that good. This one has pretty good damage, that one doesn't. That one's okay, this one still doesn't. It's multiple targets, it's multiple targets. So, you will never miss, apparently. I believe that's because it bounces off the ground. And we got some really nice armor compared to the, the 8. 20 weapon boost, health, potions, healing your eye by allies. This one's actually better than that armor, as well as we have 2 points to spend, so it's pretty nice. So if you guys want to see a part 2 of Minecraft Dungeons, where I actually do stuff proper, well, or beat levels, let me know down in the comments and give this video a like, and I'll do more Minecraft Dungeons. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode, I hope you guys learned some things, I hope this is basically a guide for you essentially, for the first part. And yeah, that's Minecraft Dungeons, you guys. It's different for sure, just like any other RPG. Anyways guys, I hope you all have a great day. Bye!